Hey, what's up? It's Kit. Time for another video, and <laughs> I have something weird that I'm gonna do. All right, so I am going to do something that is totally strange. Okay, totally strange because this is not normal. Assist hook art. Okay. I have this one hook left over and I was thinking to myself like what exactly am I gonna do with this because um, there's only one and I don't want to add more so I told myself hey you know what maybe we can do something fun with it so that's exactly what I'm gonna do here okay this is by no means something that I would <laughs> I would think Wael would use and maybe he would but it'll be fun and uh, I have one jig in mind for this sort of thing and we are going to we're aiming to use it there okay so before anything I will secure this as best as I could and I have to make sure that this whole thing is quite solid so it has to be very neat as well so I'm gonna tidy up as much as I can because we don't want any sort of obstruction when we are piling stuff up okay so i'm showing you guys this just in case you want to do something like this but this whole thing i'm just doing this just to see where our creativity can be taken they have something of this sort already but not quite like this because there's only a handful of people that actually went into this uh, whole assist hook thing that have the same skill set So at this point, what I'm doing is just making sure that my surface is even. What I will do is bring you guys in a little bit so that you see exactly what's happening. And we're going to be working here. Okay. So we have pink and white fly tying material here. This is, of course, synthetic and what we're gonna do is we use white here and then pink is going to be here okay so the build up of this is going to be kind of gradual so bear with me okay now with fly tying a little goes a long way you don't just tie a bunch and then that's it okay so for example for this it's just a small piece right there and then we paper by doing this Let's paper the ends like so same with this one then we cut Okay, and then that's our first piece right it there. Okay. 
actually we make sure that so what we want is for this bunch to be concentrated at the top just at the top right there nowhere else Okay, so make sure that's on top. There's excess, just pull them out before we actually like that. Okay, there we go. Flip this over, make sure that so that's the length of the fly. The, uh, this is going to be a bit longer here. Now, there's some fibers that you want to just bind right there. Go back to the point of tie, which is right there. Now take some pink, about the same amount. And that's the tricky bit because if you don't, do this often it's gonna not have the same volume and you're gonna repeat this step several times okay so put this there and then we taper Same with the other end, the taper. You want this to be a bit longer. There you go. that this is going to be a bit tricky because of because of the hook that you just separate it like that and we're good to go and then you take this you pull it back like that Okay, and then wrap. Okay, so forms a taper there. Then you flip. And now you do the same. Do the same thing. So you can see I formed a ramp here, sort of. That will kind of separate everything. Okay, now take the white again. Do the same step, only this time it will be shorter. Okay, still the same volume. You have to taper. So, there we go. Then, here. Okay. Flip it around.
distribute the material to the halfway point and then bind. Now we do the pink again. gets kind of messy okay again paper okay there we go and then put it right in on top of the white bunch okay after you tie that you Ensure to distribute. And then press down to distribute to the sides. Ensure that it touches the white and is equal. Okay. And then what we do is fold everything to the back again. Like so. You'll see that there's a taper forming. Okay, so gather everything like so. Tie like that. Oh, let's see what this looks like. Okay, see? Now you'll see a taper forming, kind of like a uh, big fish. Okay. Now we advance forward a few times here. Okay, just so we don't move, we lock in like so. Okay. Okay, now what you need to do is get some pink again. You're going to do this several times. So you can imagine it's kind of boring. Depends on your interest really and your determination to do this. But I assure you this would look really good when we're done. Okay, so I am just cutting on... My trash bin below me right here okay again just simple steps yeah just see then tie off again we do one two three okay just to hold it now again we distribute here uh, screwdriver would help put it in the middle right there and then pull back that would distribute the fibers evenly on each side actually I could use this much better with the tip and everything okay there we go there then tighten with a couple of wraps we're almost there. We're almost there. Now the white. Again, look, we're not we're not using up a lot. This material is uh made out of very thin plastic and it's wavy. So it has some body to it. Okay. So cut, and then again we taper, flip it around. Now I should be using, uh, I should be using super glue, but 
it's fine. If this breaks after one fish, I'm happy that it actually caught fish. Okay, so now we're binding. I'm heavily binding anyway, so that's fine. There, okay. Now, again, use your fingers to push back all the fibers, like so. Okay, then the white, anything that's left, you just pull back. There's some fibers that are stray, you take those off, like that. Okay, wrap. Okay. Wrap a few times, wrap forward, and then we're ready to go to the very tip right there. Okay. Now at this point, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a pink head. That way, the white just blends in and actually kind of fades out. So we take some pink, but now we have to take twice as much because we need to cover for the white. That would be enough. Now, you might be wondering how you judge it, but the thing is, it's just by experience when you're, when you're doing this. After doing it uh, and doing a lot of trial and error, you just, have to, you just have a feel for things. And I've been tying for years before I got into making assist hooks. When, actually, when I saw... How to uh, assist hooks for the first time? I just said like, hey, you know, I could I could do that. That's easy. Tying flies is harder. Uh, proportioning is very difficult for uh, for this sort of thing. That's practically the hardest thing to master when it comes to fly fishing. All right, so we have that. Right. Okay, and then we distribute around the shank. Okay, we might need a little more. Just a tad more. This is distributed, distributed a little bit uh, I mean you know I'm not gonna fly fish with this so I'm kind of uh, haphazardly doing stuff normally I do this slower but we don't have much time okay so there we go that should be it Go. Okay. There we go. Now we just have to brush them back like so. Okay. 
Now, I know it doesn't look much right now. Don't worry. I know exactly what you're saying or thinking. Okay. I know it doesn't look much now. That is fine. Okay. There we go. These, these guys that are just sticking out right there. Actually, we can do it like that. It's easier. By the way, I've been tying this upside down just to let you guys know. This is the uh, right way of going, of doing. But what I wanted to do was to have the white actually be on the uh, the bottom here so this becomes the top so now we're making the head and this is kind of crucial well not kind of it is crucial so the head has to be a very nice comb And this is quite bushy, but we're going to give it a haircut. And when it has a haircut, or had its haircut, it'll be nice. And this is a 3D fly. It's not two-dimensional once it's done. You'll see. As you could imagine, your wraps have to be quite close to each other for this should be now for this i'm gonna glue the head that's it okay now this is good okay we're gonna super glue the head but let's do a uh, double lock on this so nothing gets screwed Okay, now we're going to start trimming. Alright, so the battery is uh, fading. So I'm going to change the battery. Okay, so this is what we have. Now, to get the shape, you get the, well, you get a pair of scissors and start trimming. Now, uh, it's actually... Uh, it's best if you if you trim from the back to get the shape and that's how you get the uneven bait fish profile now we're gonna do some gluing and uh, I'm gonna put some eyes on this sucker okay so now it's uh, time to put some eyes and some glue uh, Need to look for some eyes. So, I think they're here. Okay. Here's some. Alright, so. I have some eyes. I'm gonna get some glue. Alright, we're gonna be using UV for this, so it's just gonna be faster that way. All right. This has been sitting around for such a long time, so I don't know um, how this is going to work, but we'll see. Okay, there we go. So, putting some glue on the threads. Okay, let me, let me zoom you guys in so that you see what's happening here. Okay. So, we're not zapping this yet, okay? Now, what we need is to get some eyes, okay? Put them here on the side, like so, and then put some epoxy 
there and at the back like so all right now the most important thing is to actually press the eye in okay like that you press the eye in like so and then zap it That will dry things up and put it in place like that. Okay, so you have the eye there. That thing's hard. Okay, so the eye placement that's permanent and it's not gonna move because if you just put the eye and then go to town with the glue it is gonna turn ugly and you don't want that so just hold it there a little bit of glue it's kind of like you're welding it in okay so for this I'm I'm holding the uh, the end position or the the uh, eye in position there at the end like that so it's kind of like welding it in now I can glue the back and the sides and everything's gonna just there we go Okay, hold it like so, zap it, and it will stay in position. Okay, now we do this bit, and we're going to glue all around. This head is going to be very hard and that would be what makes this very solid and it won't break okay so i applied this a bit thick right there and then we take our stick and then just brush it that's exactly what we want okay a good way to distribute the epoxy and keep the shape you want and we want this to be a bit down like that so that it doesn't obstruct the hook There we go. Now, We do the side or the bottom and we're pretty close to getting done here. There we go. 
Normally, I do this with ordinary epoxy, but again, we don't have time. There we go. Zap this baby up. So this epoxy is actually flexible, not hard. That way, when the fish bites, there's some structure there, but it's not going to break the, uh, the epoxy. It's not hard. So when the fish bites, it's soft still, but it keeps everything in place. That is it. There we go. So how is that for a uh, artistic assist hook, huh? <laughs> on itself, it'll probably catch fish. I'm willing to bet that if I threw this on a Dorado, it, it'll actually uh, eat it. And uh, that's it. Just the assist hook would be able to catch the Dorado. Then, there's uh, a few more things that you could do to this if you want. You could, uh, you could actually put stripes if you want it to be like, a, you know, have stripes and stuff. But I will keep this plain. All right. And that's it. So there, see, it's mushy. It's not, uh, it's not stiff at all. So when the fish actually grabs it, still thinks that it's the real thing okay so again I'm just making sure here I'm just making sure that things are uh, are good okay now if you want this to uh, this is a bit sticky so all you have to do is just run in a bit of alcohol it's the nature of this, actually, this thing right here. It's a bit sticky. But you could just wipe it down with alcohol and it's good. But there, there's also some that are not sticky, the formulation. But that is it for this one. Now, after you uh, wipe it down with alcohol, you could put uh, a coat of nail polish and uh, that is that it will be good as gold all right so there we go what do you guys think what do you guys think again this is kind of an experiment i'm uh, just showing you guys how artistic you can be i know there's a lot of assist hooks being made now with fancy stuff i mean man, I've, I've been doing that since 2016 but no one has actually done something like this. And uh, yeah, you've seen it here first. Alrighty, so guys, thank you very much for joining me today. Hope you found this entertaining. And uh, yeah, give it a thumbs up if you uh, think it'll work. Uh, share so that a lot of people would see the kind of uh, experience we're doing. And uh, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Class dismissed.